Um, well, in recent years, I've been head of typography in the UK, um, which involved just con being in charge of a small group of design people. What is strange is, is talking about these hot metal processes because, you know, I've been working with digital type now for so long that uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not saying I've forgotten about hot metal, but it hasn't really featured in my day-to-day -day life for so long. But uh, now, going back to it, it's... Uh, The shell is flux, and thin sheets of tinfoil are placed in position, and the pattern is placed on a hot plate. In a very short time, the tin melts and coats the copper surface ready to receive the molten alloy. You, I think it makes me realise just how far things have changed. Because change is a sort of process, you know, you just adapt to what's coming along. And the, the, the day I sort of started using Fontographer and were able to draw characters on the screen and so on, it was, I thought it was brilliant. I mean, it was just, it was such a, although I loved the engineering side of hot metal, the, 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 the fact that it would take you months before you could even see a proof of a typeface. You know, it was very frustrating. I uh, spent most of my career in, in the drawing office and connected with the type drawing office. Obviously, in the digital era, it didn't necessarily involve making drawings, but prior to that, we were making drawings for phototype setting and for hot metal setting uh, when I first came. Some hot metal drawings, um, this actually is a typeface called Planting Semi-Bold um, and it illustrates what I was talking about earlier about the lowercase f overhanging the, the side of its type. So this, these lines represent the width of the type. Um, so this part is actually overhanging. So part of the process of planning a new, a new typeface or a new point size of a typeface would be to ensure that all the letters that that F is likely to come up against have enough cutaway metal to ensure that they'll f the pieces of type will fit together properly. She removes the finished punch and examines it through a microscope to satisfy herself that it is correct as far as she is able to make it so. This is an enlarged view of a 12-point Perpetua cycling R, which you have been cutting. The drawings were the, the first stage of a production process, but on that drawing, you, you, it sort of issued a set of instructions, as it were. So it was obviously the instruction for the outline shape of the letter, but also there was other information on that drawing, um, such as its unit width, the cutouts that I mentioned earlier that had to be made in the type. Um, and also, there was certain information could be put on the drawing to help in the punch cutting process. In, in the hot metal um, era, where you were actually casting type, so the, the machine itself that Monotype was selling, the casting machine, would allow you to input um, typeset information or typesetting information and it would actually cast and arrange the type in the correct order so it was ready for printing. The, the matrix was the sort of final product of, of the, the type side in that it was the mould in which the type was cast. So the matrix was the sort of end product of the type process, type making process. Um, that's 82 series, that's 10 point, looks like a probably a lowercase l. Um, so that was the product of the punch cutting machine and that was the, the piece that was used to produce the matrix. We have progressed to seven generous fonts and room for special signs. Keyboards have kept pace with matrix case demands. Their layouts have become steadily more logical. Instant character identification is assured. Our prime objective has always been the production of prints of the finest quality. Clean cut, precisely spaced, elegantly proportioned. Type design, the creation of drawings and patterns, the production of steel punches, and finally of the character matrices, all are under constant inspection so as to maintain and improve quality. 
until the end product of a type design is good enough to stand up to scrutiny under the microscope, it is not ready for production as a new series. Only the best will pass. So this is, this is part of what really I, I found fascinating when I first started in, in, at Monotype in, within the hot metal process was the, was the engineering side of it. It, it's, it's clear from looking at, at hot metal drawings that the, the whole process did put quite severe restrictions on the design of a typeface. But you, you can see from this, this, this sort of brief description how the technology was quite a strong influence. I think the, the advent of digital type has it's made the design process of typefaces a purer process in, in many respects in that there are really no constraints now, no technical restraints on what you can do with a typeface. The big gain I think from digital type is that it's become available to so many more people um, and that's a huge gain. It's, it's, it's also dramatically increased the size of the, the whole type industry. Um, prior to the, the sort of digital age most people probably wouldn't have known the name of a typeface even. Um, but now everybody knows Times New Roman and Arial and so on, and Helvetica, because you know, they're on every computer that's, that's made. The downside of course is that it means a lot of, uh, in fact the, probably the vast majority of people that are using type don't really know how to use it properly. Um, I, I, th I think gradually things will improve in that respect. I think with a lot of advances in technology, the, the technology takes a leap and it just takes time for the sort of aesthetics and so, uh, the, the things surrounding that technology to catch up. But it, it will gradually come, I think. Um, and I, I think also, particularly with typography on the web, as it gets more and more commercial, um, and important that people have good quality websites. It, 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 the, the des design aspect of it is going to improve, it has to improve.